The objective of this video is to look at Darcy's law. Okay, so we know from the previous video that flow through a sample of soil is due to change in head, right? So say we have these two samples. Let's make this one have big particles and this one have smaller particles. Okay, so let's say the length of both these samples is L, right? So the flow of the water through these particles, the speed at which it flows at is going to be dependent on the change in head. So we know that change in head causes flow as well as the actual soil particles themselves. You see, it's going, to, it's going to be a lot quicker for soil to flow through bigger particles, right? Whereas when you have a more condensed sample with smaller particles, it's going to take longer for the water to find its way through, okay? So we can say that the velocity is equal to k, which is a proportionality concept, which we're going to define in a second, which takes into consideration the uh, different soil samples we have based on their like particle sizes, if you want to think about it like that, as well as the change in head divided by the change in length. Okay, so k is equal to the coefficient of proportionality, okay, or it's called okay, coefficient of proportionality, or it's called the hydraulic. Uh, conductivity. Okay, that's what K is. So K will depend. K is dependent on the uh, actual soil sample, and dH on dL is known as the hydraulic gradient. Okay, so it's the change in head. So say the head. Say we have a head value here and a head value here, it's, it's going to be that change in head which causes flow divided by the change in length. So from that point to that point, the change in length would be L. Just a note, this hydraulic gradient is actually unitless because heads, the unit of head is meters and the unit of length is also meters. So that's just going to cancel out, which means that the velocity, which is in say centimeters per second, K obviously has to be that, that, um, that unit as well. So K is in centimeters per second okay so we now know that the velocity through a soil sample is dependent on the hydraulic gradient which is dh on dl as well as this coefficient of proportionality which considers the actual soil sample okay just as a side note we know that q equals va so q the flow rate is the same as the velocity times the area this um, unit wise makes sense. Velocity is meters per second. Area is meters squared, which we get meters cubed per second, which is flow. Okay, so the, the velocity, sorry, the flow rate equals VA. So we can also put Darcy's law in terms of flow rate. We can multiply both sides by A. So we have VA equals K DH on DL. Okay. So both sides would be multiplied by A, which means Q equals K dH on dL A. Okay, so we can have Darcy's law in terms of velocity and Darcy's laws in terms of flow rate. Um, just another side note, we can also rewrite, so say V equals dH on dL times K. What's often abbreviated is we often abbreviate dH on dL as I, so we can write this as V equals K I where I is just the hydraulic gradient, and similarly, Q, which equals Ka dH on dL, equals Kai, where I is just the hydraulic gradient. Okay. In the next video, we're going to be doing an example where we use the um, where we use Darcy's law to calculate different things, so you can see it actually being used. Hope that helps.